right next I'm going to go work on the top view so let's look at what we can find about the top view uh, looks like there's a fillet on each corner of the top view here of the front two corners that have a radius of 0.75 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the fillet command I'm going to type R for radius and press enter type 0.75 for the radius for the fillet and then I'm going to pick this corner and this corner which will fill it that first one. I'm going to press enter which will bring me back to the fillet command. I'm going to press this this line and this line and fill it those corners. Now the good thing about that is now that I have these guys these fillets located I also know where their centers will be and I can snap to those centers and that's important because there is a slot on each side of the part and that slot begins at where the center of the radius is right here we can see by looking at that so what I want to do is I need to, to create this slot that has a radius of 0.375 right there at the center of where, where my fillet is located so the way I'm going to do that is this I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to come over here near the radius and that will show me where the center is I'm going to pick right there I'm going to type D for diameter uh, actually let's cancel that let's try it again because we know the radius on this one so I'm going to pick diameter I'm going to go or circle rather go there pick the center for my radius I'm going to type point three seven five and press enter now let's go see how far apart those circles are located so the circle that I've just drawn there's going to be another circle at the back side of that slot that's point seven five away from that measured from center to center and so what I'm going to do is zoom in. I'm going to use the copy command. I'm going to pick that circle and press enter. And uh, then it's going to ask me to specify the base point. I'm going to pick the center. I'm going to make sure that ortho is on. And then I'm going to move straight up. And I'm going to type 0.75 and press enter. And then press escape. Next, I'm going to do a line from. And what I want to do, this one is from quadrant. I can pick on the quadrant tool here, pick quadrant 2, and then pick quadrant over here. Press escape. Now, what I probably ought to do is go to object snap and right click on it and go turn quadrant on. Then I won't have to uh, choose it from the toolbar. So I'm going to do another line this time. And you can see it's snapping to quadrant, to quadrant, press enter. Now, I need to trim this out. I'm going to select the trim icon and after you pick trim you always want to just press enter and then it says select the objects to trim and I'm going to do a window from right to left and that will clean all that out of there and press enter now you're probably already thinking that why would I draw that again over here if it's exactly the same when really what I should be doing is doing a mirror so you're right and so I'm going to right click on this I'm going to make sure midpoint is on uh, on my object snaps and so I'm going to use the mirror command and I'm going to grab that slot I'm going to press enter it's going to ask me for the first point in my mirror line I'm going to pick the midpoint of the back edge I'm going to snap to the midpoint of the front edge and press enter and I have that now there's going to be a line going all the way across here and uh, that line if I look at it in my sketch here would be represented by this edge that's going to work all the way across that top view and it's located 0.75 from the back edge so I'm going to do a, an offset command type 0.75 press enter select the back edge come to there and uh, there's that uh, that edge now I'm going to project some things from the front view I need a couple of I need a visible line uh, where these lines are going to be projected up into this plane so what I'm going to do is select line and I'm going to come down here and acquire this point but just by I'm not going to pick it I'm just going to park my mouse on it until it tells me it has an endpoint I'm going to come straight up and when I see the first intersection I'm going to pick there when I see another intersection which I don't see I better go uh, let's try perpendicular on this one on my object snap let's see right here and go perpendicular and pick there so I can see that's going to be a problem so I'm going to right click on O snap and go turn perpendicular on now I'm going to do another line I'm going to acquire this point I'm going to move straight up and the first place I pick is when it intersects that line and now when it goes perpendicular there press escape do another line 
I'm going to park here, acquire that point, come straight up, pick and pick. And uh, I'll go ahead and do another one here. We'll just park on this real quick, come straight up and pick and pick. Now really I could have just drawn those first two and then mirrored them if I'd wanted to. Now the other thing I have on this is I have that inclined plane and I need two lines for that and you can see those lines right here. I'm going to see those in the top view and this would be a good place to use the extend command. And so I'm going to go over here. It's the command right below trim. Pick on extend and just like with trim press enter and then it says select the object to extend so I'm going to go onto this line but I'm going to go below the halfway point because that will extend in a downward direction so I'm going to pick there I'm going to come over here pick here press uh, escape to get out of the command and so with the exception of uh, uh, any center lines or anything my top view is essentially done so let's look over here at the finished views and see what they're going to look like when they have center lines and hidden lines in there. You get a pretty good idea of uh, what you're going to be adding in in the way of center lines and hidden lines and all.